Hey guys, I'm Diego Saez and welcome back to the special at home edition of HLTV. Before spring break, our team of reporters put together videos of what's going on in the school and community. Today, we're going to show you a few of those, plus some current stories that we did while at home. So, don't go anywhere, if you can anyway, and check out this special edition of HLTV. An old concept made new, the farmer's market is a great opportunity to get fresh produce and local goods made in the area. Alana Bussey has more. Hey Highlanders, last weekend I went to the Woodlands Farmer's Market at Grogan's Mill. Let's go take a look around. For the last 20 years, the Grogan's Mill Farmer's Market has been held every Saturday morning and gives the Woodlands residents a chance to get some of the freshest products locally available. With fresh produce, clothes, dog treats, and even live music, the Farmer's Market has something for everyone. We've been coming to the Grogan's Mill Farmer's Market for over 10 years now. It's very, very productive for us. Uh, we're interacting with the community. Uh, there's lots of different vendors here. We also, at the market, there's anything from dog treats to snacks to pastries, and there's other vegetable vendors here as well. The Woodlands Farmer's Market at Grogan's Mill happens every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Come out to support and interact with the community. Hi, I'm Jamie, guest news anchor. Sad that you're missing out on school lunches? Yeah, me neither. So here are a few good places that deliver right to your house. We start off strong with the classic Chick-fil-A. You can have the irresistible taste of their chicken right on your doorstep. It's available for delivery on Uber Eats, DoorDash, and Grubhub. And you can even go through the drive-thru if you just want to get out of the house for a while. Next up is Chipotle. They offer a bit of a healthier option if you are trying to stay fit during this time. You can order straight from their website or through Uber Eats. Finally, some restaurants such as KFC, Olive Garden, and Dickie's Barbecue are all offering family meals, which is, which is perfect for when parents just don't feel like cooking that night. And now here's Connor Salter cooking up some breakfast treats. Hey Highlanders, if you're tired of ordering out, because I know I am, I'm here to show you how to make a bacon egg muffin. Let's get to it. Things you will need. Muffin pan. No stick cooking spray. Bacon. Add some chili powder, or any of your favorite spices. Last but not... There we go. Last but not least, eggs. First off, before we get started, make sure to wash those hands. Step one. Spray that muffin pan real good. Step two. Line the inside of your muffin pan with bacon like so. Step three. Crack those eggs into the bacon that's in the muffin pan. <clears throat> Step. Four. Put those spices in and set that oven to 350. It's time to cook. Check on those bad boys every five minutes. You'll know they'll be done when the eggs are solid. Step six. Ooh, they're done. Final product right here. Those eggs should be solid and they should slide right out. That's all I have for today, Islanders. Make sure to stay safe and have some fun. See you around. Hey there. You know what runners do when they forget something? They go ahead and jog their memory. But seriously though, Christina Suarez went out to investigate the local running team. And here she is at the local 5K. 
It's a beautiful day for a run here at the Woodlands Waterway, where people are going to be doing exactly that. Here's a closer look at the Woodlands 5K and 2K fun runs. On February 29th, Fidelity Investments hosted a 5K and a 2K fun run. These events kicked off the two weekends of races in the Woodlands. The 5K started at 7.30 a.m. behind the pavilion and east of Town Green Park. The national anthem was sung, beginning the race. Spectators cheered as they took off. Volunteers helped with keeping people off the path, handing out medals and providing runners with food and water. Uh, this is actually my first one. So it was a really fun experience and I don't know, it was great to see a bunch of other people running, friends that I knew and other people. Later at 9 a.m., the Pathfinder Pediatric 2K Fun Run and Walk started. <laughs> Children lined up at the starting line, some alongside their families and others by themselves. You can run and walk. Yeah, yeah. you can run and walk and, and I'm happy that there's no, like winners or losers. <laughs> we all get medals. Awards were given to the top finishers overall and within gender and age groups. The runs continue on March 7th with the marathon, half marathon, and marathon relay. Training programs are offered if anyone is interested in running in next year's races. And for those running in the marathon next weekend, good luck and stay safe. You may have heard, you can't buy friends, turns out you can adopt them. Chloe Pours has more. The end of February to the beginning of March is National Adoption Week. Let's take a look at Operation Pets Alive at PetSmart and see how they are coordinating this event this year. February 28th to March 1st was National Adoption Weekend at PetSmart. Operation Pets Alive is an organization that aims to keep animals out of the shelter and helps them get adopted to loving owners. They are 100% volunteer based and have options for fostering a pet. This allows the animals to go into a home in order to be able to transition into new environments easily. The adoption fee for dogs is $160 and for cats it is $80. This completely covers initial vaccines and medical care for the animal. We help pull from the shelters here in Montgomery County, so Conroe and Montgomery County Animal Shelters to help alleviate their uh, intake load. Um, and the animals go into foster, foster homes and we're 100% volunteer and foster base. These animals are mainly found on the streets or are unwanted by previous owners. Operation Pets Alive is looking for families to take in these loving animals through their adoption services. Operation Pets Alive is located at selected PetSmart and Petco locations every weekend. We encourage you to come out and adopt these adorable loving animals. I'm Chloe Porras, HLTV News. Sadly, the school sports season has been cut short this year, but here's Emmy Jimenez with a look back at girls' soccer. Hey Highlanders, I'm Amy Jimenez and I'm here at Wood Forest Stadium where I'm watching the girls varsity soccer team play against Klein Kane with an incredible 9-1 record in districts. Doing pretty good. Um, let's see if we can get an interview with the players to see how it's really like. So currently we have a record of 10-1-1. Um, after tonight's game, we're expected to win the rest of our games in the district and hopefully make it pretty far in playoffs. On and off the field, girls soccer works really hard and they're like a family and when we go out on the field we play for each other. For the rest of the season we have about five more district games and after winning all of those we're hopefully um, going to advance pretty far in the playoffs and hopefully take state. The Wilderness Girls Farsi soccer team finished 2-2 two and two against Klein Kane with a 10-1-1 record in district. Hey Highlanders, are you bored of sitting around the house watching TikToks or playing video games? Are you looking for movies that will make you laugh, cry, or feel the thrill of a lifetime? Here's a few movie suggestions that you can watch right now. First up, we have Hail Caesar. Hail Caesar is a comedy that follows a manager at a movie studio. It tells the story of all the crazy occurrences that happen on a movie set like having to deal with gossip reporters, crazy actors, pretentious directors, or even saving a world-class actor from the communists. This movie is currently streaming on Netflix, and it's a laugh-out-loud movie. I enjoyed it a lot. Next is As Above, So Below. This movie is a non-stop thrill ride. It's a horror that follows a young archaeologist woman who's in search of the Philosopher's Stone. Yes, the one from Harry Potter. 
deep in the catacombs of Paris. It all goes south when the group finds themselves deep underground with strange occurrences happening to them and strange creatures attacking them. This movie can be streamed on Netflix. The final movie that I have for you is my all-time favorite movie, Leon the Professional. Leon follows the story of a French assassin named Leon, played by Jean Reno, and a young girl named Matilda, played by Natalie Portman. When Matilda's family is killed by a crooked narcotics police force, she seeks Leon to teach her to be a world-class assassin in order for her to get revenge on the people who killed her family. This is a beautiful film. It made me laugh, it made me cry, it's full of action, and it's available to rent everywhere. Why can't Batman and Robin go fishing together? Because Robin eats all the worms. Here's Josh Frank with a look at the school's best fishing club. Hi, I'm Josh Frank, here to give you the inside scoop on a club you may not know a whole lot about, our very own bass fishing team. The Woodlands High School bass fishing team was established in the fall of 2013 with 30 anglers in grades 9 through 12. They've now grown to 130 members and include students from McCullough Junior High. Only students attending McCullough or the Woodlands High School are eligible to be members of the team. For all grades, 7 through 12, they offer inshore and pond tournaments about once a month on Saturday mornings on ponds in or near the Woodlands. The season begins in October and ends in April. I made a lot of friends while fishing and uh, I get to go on a boat like every other weekend. It's so much fun. Well, I've learned a lot from my partners and my captains and it's just the experiences that I've learned, you know. It's just once in a lifetime experiences. For grades 9 through 12, they also offer offshore <laughs> boat tournaments through our affiliation with the Texas High School Bass Association. More information on these boat tournaments can be found on their offshore webpage. I'm Josh Frank, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, Mylanders. We hope that you enjoyed this version of HLTV. While we don't know what time we're going to go back to school this year, please stay home and stay healthy. Wash your hands and follow the guidelines that the local government has implemented in order to stop the spread of COVID-19. Have a good one, Highlanders.